This video shows you how to build a multi-tenancy, multi-cloud solution with Hitachi Network Attached Storage or HNAS. The HNAS multi-tenancy feature improves resource utilization by allowing multiple tenants to share the same hardware. The environment used for this implementation includes an HNAS 5300 cluster. The hardware was in a near-cloud co-location data center managed by Equinix. This environment consists of two domains, a near-cloud Equinix co-location data center, located in San Jose, California, and several hyperscaler cloud environments including AWS, Azure, and GCP, hosted in Northern California. Before starting the configuration, we must verify that the EVS security license is installed. We can verify the same by going to CLI. The same can be verified from HNAS UI license key screen. As you can see, the license is installed. Now, we'll go to the command line to enable multi-tenancy. When you enable multi-tenancy, the session disconnects, so we'll log in again and then verify that multi-tenancy is enabled. Now we'll create an EVS for each of the three cloud providers. To see all the EVS we created, we can list them. Now, verify that the EVS security is set to individual. Also, check to see whether EVS routing is enabled. Enable it if it's not already enabled. Next, we configure routing for each EVS. Then, we verify the routing. Next, we configure DNS for each EVS. There is one file system already created for each EVS, so we just need to assign each file system to the associated EVS. Next, we configure the NFS export for each file system. Now, we'll work on the CIF setup by first adding each EVS to Active Directory. Here we do it for AWS first, then Azure and then for GCP. We are now going to create a CIF share in each file system. First we do it for AWS, and then for Azure and GCP. We can now check to see whether the HNAS storage is accessible from each cloud provider. We've already created three Linux and three Windows instances, one for each cloud provider. From the SMU UI, we can see the EVS IP addresses. First, let's check from the Linux instances. The three instances are from AWS, Azure, and GCP. As we can see from each instance, the associated EVS IP address and NFS export is accessible. Now, let's mount the NFS export and check the access. We can see that access is working fine for all three Linux instances. Let's also check the access from the Windows instances. From each instance, 
we can access the associated CIF shares. This concludes the brief overview of setting up HNAS multi-tenancy. For more details, please visit these links.